Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. We're going to learn through this video tutorial on how to make a carbon fiber sheet. Through this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about how to create very strong sheet for structural application. In our case, we're going to use this sheet as a firewall, which should be very strong. There are many ways on how to make sheet. However, we'll be covering only one method, which is called resin infusion. In this method, we're going to use a vacuum process to infuse epoxy resin through dry carbon fiber. Obviously, before starting, we should know which is the thickness that we're trying to achieve that leads on how many layers of, of reinforcement we should use. Usually, the thickness of the dry carbon fiber is dictated by the weight, uh, especially I'm talking about woven carbon fiber. So let's look on how to take measurement of the thickness using a caliper. This is a reinforcement of 200 gram carbon. If we impose some pressure on the caliper to simulate the pressure that you get from vacuum back, as you can see that each graduation represents 0.05, then the thickness is around 0.2 millimeter. So particularly with the woven carbon fiber enforcement, the weight in a gram tends to correspond to the thickness. Therefore, if you want to achieve a thickness of 2 mm using a carbon fiber of 200 gram, tend to use at least 10 layers. Adding more layers that will result to add more resin, which you will end up with a laminate sheet that much heavier. In my case, to avoid that, I should add lentor soric in between layers of carbon fiber. And what we want to do is that lentor soric add the thickness to our laminate sheet and has very low resin uptake, which will provide at least a 30% weight saving over the sheet. And the cells have excellent compression and the shear strength resulting in very rigid core. So before starting, this is a quick tip for calculating ratio. When working with any epoxy resin, you must mix the resin and hardener exactly at the correct mix ratio. Failure to do so will result in a poor or only partial cure of resin and reduce the mechanical properties of the laminate. We'll pretend trying to mix up a total of 200 gram resin, epoxy and hardener combined. In our case, we have a mixed ratio of 100 to 30. So the resin which we will use here is IN2 epoxy infusion resin from as a composite. So the ratio is 100 to 30. We want to refer this as 100 percent as resin and 30 percent is hardener. So if we have a mix, mix combined resin and hardener of 200 gram, this is uh, only example, 200 gram, and if we add 100 to 30, we will get 130 percent. So with the mixed resin of 200 gram, 200 gram divided by the ratio of 130, we will get here 200 divided by the ratio of 130 percent is 1, not 3, 1.3. We will get 
0.84 gram of epoxy. This is epoxy. Epoxy infusion resin. What's about hazard? So here we will add 153.84 gram of epoxy. What's about the the ratio of the hardener? So here I simply 200 subtract 153.84, and we get. 46.16 gram of hardener. So we will add 46.16 gram of hardener. So if we add 153 to 46, we will get, we will get 200 gram of mixed resin and hardener. In our tutorial, we're gonna use flat thick sheet of glass for creating the laminate sheet of carbon fiber. Now we start cleaning the glass from the dust. Now I start applying the sealing gun tape all around the perimeter of the glass sheet and should be a little larger than the size of the dry reinforcement. Also known as take tape used to create strong seals between pieces of vacuum backing film. So here we start by applying the chemical release agent all over the surface. Now it's time for adding or lay the reinforcement on the glass sheet. In between I should add layers of lantern soric as mentioned in the introduction. Now it's a time to cut and position a layer of p ply, which is a removable barrier between the laminate and other bagging consumables to avoid the sticking between the laminate and the next layer such as infusion mesh. Here is the next layer of infusion mesh, this is gonna help the resin to flow through the part. It is time to position the silicon connector over the top of the part for vacuum line. As you can see that I positioned the silicon connector on the peel ply, not on the infusion mesh. And what we want to do is to constitute resin brick and the idea is to slow down the resin through the part. And the corners of the sheet will be fully infused before the resin reaches the vacuum line. We're positioning this infusion spiral all the way around the reinforcement part and make sure that the spiral is on the top of the infusion mesh because the spiral that's going to feed the resin into the mesh. Now we're positioning another silicon connector in the other side in the opposite which is the resin feed line. Using small amount few pieces of release tape just to hold the spire infusion in place. Now it's a time to add the vacuum bagging film. So we're sealing the bag down to the tape and make sure that this bag is quite sealed to avoid any leak.
Now it's time to puncture the bag for vacuum line, connect the hose to the bag and push it through into silicon connector and connect the hose on the other end to the catch pot. Now we're gonna do the same thing here on the other side using a scissor to pierce in the bag and push the hose into the silicon connector. This is for resin feed line. The next step is to take strip of gum tape and wrap that around the end of the hose and allow the tape to firmly seal the hose to the back. Now we're gonna use an infusion line clamp to close the resin feed line to stop air flowing into the bag. Now we're gonna switch the vacuum pump on and the bag will pull down and start to drag the air out of the bag. You should go all around squeezing the gum tape looking for any leaks. As shown in the gauge we have a got perfect sealed bag. It's time to mix epoxy infusion resin with hardener at the correct ratio shown on the pack. However, we should have known how much resin we need for our laminate, so we mix up the same weight of resin as we got in reinforcement here in this example, but this is not the correct method. For more information about the resin conception in gram, you should refer to the next equation. It's very important to thoroughly mix the resin with hardener and allow the resin to dig it for a few minutes to remove trapped air from the mixed resin. Release the clamp from the vacuum line and you can see that the resin starts to infuse through the parts. As you saw previously in this tutorial that I positioned the spiral infusion in U shape and the vacuum line in the middle wherefore the resin is flowing in U shape and what we want that to do is to fully infuse the corner of the laminate before the resin arrive to the vacuum line. We let the resin reach the other side of the vacuum line and the excess resin go to the catch pot. Now it's a time to close the supply side, the feed in resin, waiting for a few seconds and then clamp the other side of the vacuum line. We're gonna leave this for 24 hours to fully cure. Actually, nothing complicated, just remove all the bagging consumables. So we're gonna start with the bag and then removing the peel ply from the back of the laminate. Now the next step is cutting the part using water cutting machine. However, 
before proceed we should make early sample using plywood we're going to cut this apart using a laser engraving machine to check for any further problems and if the part will mesh properly with the lower body of the car. As the early sample of plywood shown us that there has been absolutely no issue found meshing with the lower and the top body. That's the point where we can continue. Now we're going positioning the laminate on the water jet cutting machine. We're actually ready to bond the laminate sheet with the lower body and we're gonna use voodoo glue adhesive. As you can see that I'm putting a large bead of the adhesive all the way around the bottom perimeter of the laminate. I'm using the method of jig to help us making in place the laminate sheet to bond it with the bottom body of the car. <laughs> 